Hello students, today we will discuss about optical fiber communication lab. First of all, we will familiarize with the optical fiber communication textbook which is shown here. This is a Scientec textbook and different components are provided with this textbook. First of all, we need a power supply for this textbook and it is shown here and this power supply will be connected to the main power and there will be a switch and once we need once we want to operate this tech book we have to first of all switch on this power supply and we can open this tech book like this see this is a tech book you can see here and you know that in the case of a fiber optic communication there will be a transmitter a channel and a receiver. In the optical fiber communication, the channel will be optical fiber cable. See, the optical fiber cable is provided along with this tech book and this, this shows the optical fiber cable. Actually, this is a 1 meter optical fiber cable and it, you can use this optical fiber cable in between the transmitter and receiver and in this tech book, up to this point, this forms the transmitter part and from this point, this forms the receiver section. In between the transmitter and receiver, there are two points where we will connect the optical fiber cable and that optical fiber cable will act as the channel. See, you can connect it like this. See here, there is another cable which is of length 0.5 meter and you can connect this in between these points. See. So, in between the transmitter and receiver, this optical fiber cable act as the channel. This is of 0.5 meter and there is another cable which is of 1 meter length. Next, you can see different sections here. This is a variable supply section and you can vary the voltage level by using these knobs. Similarly, there is a function generator and from, from where you, you will get square wave pulse, sinusoidal waves, etc. And for doing the for doing the analog link setup in the optical fiber communication you are using sine wave and for doing the digital link setup you will be using this as the input that is the square wave as the input and there will be a knob which is used to, um, for varying the um, gain by rotating this knob and also there is a clock generator which is of different frequency 64 kilohertz 128 kilohertz and 256 kilohertz there is a common ground when you are connecting different devices you have to connect the ground of that devices with this with the ground of this tech book so there are different knobs provided here and you see there is a patch code see this is the patch code and you can use this patch code in order to take the connection see this can be inserted here like this and the other end can be connected to the other ground section like this. Similarly, there are different sections. See, here is a pulse width modulator section and this is the input and this is the output and this patch code can be used to take the input and output. See, once this is connected here and you can connect it here so that the input from this sine wave will be given to the input of output from this sine wave will be given to the input of this pulse width modulator. Similarly, you can use another patch code in order to take the output from this pulse width modulator and you can give the output from this session to next section. So, so there is a connection between the function generator to pulse width modulator and then from the pulse width modulator to the emitter circuit like that and from the output of the emitter circuit you can connect the optical fiber cable and it will be connected to the receiver section. And from the receiver section, you can do connections as, as per your need. See, finally, you can take the output either from the comparator output or from the amplifier circuit output. And this output can be um, seen in the CRO. See, this is the CRO. And you can connect a patch code uh, from the output of this tech book. That is, in order to take the output, you can uh, connect the patch code. And the patch code, this patch code can be connected to the CRO by using the probe. So this is the basic things about the tech book connection and there will be different sessions and you see 
here there is a switched fault and you should uh, set this switched fault to off position here is the position see you can vary this like this this is on position you can off this uh, like this so in order to do the experiment you can set this switched fault to off position there are different se sections like low pass filter noise generator audio output circuit clock in like that and you can use uh, these uh, sections as per your need so now uh, today we will do an experiment in in setting up of a digital uh, link circuit to see there is a button you can see here there is sw1 this is a switch actually it act as a toggle switch and this toggle switch um, you can set in the either in the analog mode or in digital mode and in order to set the analog link you have to um, put this switch in the upper position that is uh, uh, it will select the analog link setup if you are doing um, doing digital link setup then you can position this switch in the downward position see now it is in the digital setup so next we will see the experiment of setting up of a digital link